Hey everybody, so this is in response to a request from Peace Lotus on one of our videos. And uh, they wanted to know what the full process is in terms of setting up something that you can just print from Sheets, uh, print to PDF from Sheets instead of using a form publisher. So the way that this works is um, mostly around a formula called the indirect formula. But um, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate to you how, or like kind of the end result, right? So here I have, you'll see, you don't see anything right here. But over here, there's a three. That's because I made it white. <laughs> I just changed the color of the text. So then that way, when you print it, it doesn't do anything. But look, two, oh, look, it changed the information down below. All right, so I can just hit print on this, go to next, and then and save to a PDF or save it to Google Drive. Um, either one. All right, so I'll cancel that. And now we'll walk through how that works. So that's the end result. Um, and I've got these forms where we capture patient demographic information, name, insurance, address, all that jazz. And then this other form here where we have just the daily note. Um, and in this example, we included the codes in the daily note. Um, kind of keeps things simpler. There's other ways that you can kind of combine those all together um, to do like maybe a separate billing note. It's possible. Um, but this just seemed kind of simple to go this route. So that data, here's the patient demographic data that spills in and then here's the individual data that spills in. Okay, on the super bill though, we have data that comes from both. Oh, I, say, I said individual and then I'm over in an area it's not as helpful. Oh wait, there it is. Oh, never mind. This is showing the whole thing. Okay. So the super bill, um, the soap note didn't include the patient's name. It just included the patient ID and the patient date of birth. So the way that I built this thing was the patient ID kind of like connects everything together. Everything is based off the patient ID. So, um, the patient ID is used here in the demographics, right here, and it's also used here in the individual notes. So the individual note, the first step of what I did here, um, just to kind of make things simpler, <laughs> was I brought the, the, the needed demographic data over here into the individual notes, right? So um, they're over here. I needed these things. So how this works is these are array formulas and it says, and so, and so like this name, like this kind of isn't text, this is a formula right here and the formula is here and here too to bring in those items. So basically what this does is, it's, it's you think of these like order of operations too, right? So the core of this is VLOOKUP, okay? So what it's saying, is look up stuff from column or look over at column B and then go see if you can find it over in patient demographics in column C and then um, actually if see if you can find it well it is in column C it's always the first column that's in the uh, that's that's in this range so even though this goes all the way to column W it looks for it in the first column and then pull in whatever's in the second column when you find a match um, the zero, this is some technical thing, is sorted. I have always just put zero, it's no big deal. Okay, so that's like the core of that. Then the if error thing, it says, okay, look for an error. If it's not there, if there's no error, then do this first part. If there is an error, just make it blank, right? So that's just to make things pretty. Like, I'll show you real quick what that does. So if I get rid of my if error statement, Oh, it's so ugly. Why would you want that, right? It's not a big deal. <laughs> you can have it in there. It's not gonna. It's not gonna hurt anybody. But I just like it to look nice. All right, so I'll undo that. Um, and see, actually, even this word first name, what it's doing is, it's saying, hey, go find this item. And so it goes over and finds that item, patient ID. And then it says, then bring in the next thing, <laughs> or bring in the thing from row two. So it brings in first name, the word first name, and then the other one brings in the word last name. Um, right? So 
So that's how that works. But let's just say, hey, for my super bill, I want to include the insurance data. All right, so um, there were four insurance data things in there. All right, so I'm just going to bring those in and see they're over here. There's more if you have secondary, but we'll just talk about primary, right? So we have M, no, we have O through R that's pulling in that stuff. All right, so what we'll do here, oh, see, this one um, is also includes this thing called text, and it basically says, because all dates in spreadsheets are just stored as like pure numbers, and I think it's like the number of days since January 1st, 1900, something like that. And um, and so this is basically say, take that number and turn it into text and make it look like this, All right? Okay, so I'll use this one instead. So copy this one. I'm just gonna copy the whole thing. Oh, I just realized I didn't talk about array formula. So the array formula says just repeat it forever. So the entire column it just says the second that this is no longer an error, um, which will happen as long as there's a match here, right? As long as there's a match between this and this, between column B in this sheet and column C in the other sheet, um, then it'll just be blank. So that's what the array formula does. And that's what this B1B um, and, the, and, the, and the dollar signs. So B1 through B and C1 through C, or C1 through W, the, 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 the the dollar signs and all that stuff, putting a range there makes it so the array formula just repeats forever. And that's helpful with these things because sometimes when you uh, like submit the form again, it pushes stuff down and then it messes things up. All right, so anyway, so we'll bring in, I think I copied that already, right? Oh yeah, so we got last name four times. So I think this would have been like number 13. Yeah, so that's policy name. 14, so now we're just bringing in column 14 out of that C1 through W range. Right, so C is zero, and that is column zero. Okay, 16, there we go. So now we brought in that data. How cool is that, right? All right, so that's how the data gets from patient demographics to individual therapy notes. And did I say this already? Like individual therapy notes is the billable event. So in my mind that it makes sense to Say so we're going to base it off the billable event and pull the other stuff into here that we need to make our super bill. All right, so here's our super bill. And now these ones work off of a formula called indirect. So again, here's another date one. I'll start with one that's a little simpler first. Um, so this is another date one, but see, we already formatted this date in the other sheet, so we don't need to format it again um, using that text formula. So this is just indirect just says, hey, go grab the value that is in individual therapy notes, column L, row, whatever value is in F1. So boom, row two, so, right? So this is saying, go grab whatever's in individual therapy notes in L2, done. Right? so then you can see how these change. That's gonna be from B2 and from G2 and from H2 and from I2. Right, so and you know, I'll point out these are all just hard coded in. Like I brought in my brought in the logo. This text is just here. It's just typed in, and the formulas are just these things that change. Right, so we'll go ahead. Well, and so you can see here's another text one. Just formatting the text of whatever the indirect formula brings in. We're going to format it to look like this. This one's a name one, um, and I have the names separate. I like keeping them separate. So then this is how this works. Right, so let me just try this. So let's just say, um, so this is just, okay, bring in the first name, then add a space. So that's what the ands do. It says and, add a space, and then bring in the last name. So just to show you how we can manipulate this, right, we'll just bring that out, paste it here, we'll bring these guys out too, and we'll paste them here in the middle of the two. And then we'll just do a comma, and all of a sudden, boom, it's Hoffman Nate instead of Nate Hoffman. All right, so that's done. Um, well, that's changed if we want to. But now let's come back to this idea. Okay, what if we need to include the insurance information on every bill, on every super bill? All right, so I'm just going to come here. Um, well, just, oh, I 
did it. Okay, these are formulas. I can't bring in the formulas. I need to bring in the, the actual text. All right, so that is, it was here, O through R. And I should apologize while I'm doing this too. My wife's asleep in the other room, so I'm talking really quietly. Trying to not get in too much trouble. All right, D. Okay, but now it just doesn't look right, right? Okay, so we're gonna check the height here. Resize row, that's at 37. So we'll resize the row to 37. Now here's what we're gonna check this real quick. Oh, I pushed it to the next one, all right? So let's just delete a row and we'll try it again. Ah, oh, there it is, beautiful, right, beautiful. We're gonna just assume that we don't need this, right? We don't need to explain that in the bill. All right, so this is not gonna line up perfectly, which like the the OCD in me is just cringing. Oh look, and these also, they all have, they'll have colons. So on the ones above. Oh, and look at that. That one has a space before, there we go. Whew. Now, now we have now things are consistent, and I can and I can I can live with, with myself. All right, so here we go. So I just grab that formula just like I did with the other one. I'm just going to paste them in. You'll see it's pulling in stuff exactly as it was in this formula. What is going on? How come that? Here, I'm going to copy that format and paste it there. There we go. Oh, we need to paste it here too. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, so because this doesn't line up anymore, I'm also gonna just bold these, right? Oh no, you see that? Here we go, we'll fix it. Just do this, right? Okay, that'll be better. All right, so it's pulling an F, and now these things are coming through M through P in this one, right? So we're gonna have this. M. This one is going to pull in P. Oh, subscriber name. No, N. <laughs> N. O. All right, there you go. So that's now pulling those things in. Since this is a number, it shoved it over to the other side. Yuck, we'll fix that. So we have mostly a nice line here. All right, so there you go. And again, just like it did before, now that we hooked that up, uh, hooked that all together, we've got this invisible two here. I can just change it to three, done, and it brings in the, the information. So if you want to, um, you could just do something like, you know, well, here's, here's the two. So let's just say, let's say we do two. We'll just pretend I printed this as a PDF. Then actually, if I want to, I can come over here and say, you know what, now that I've printed this note, I don't want to have it here anymore. Right? So I deleted my row. Oh, and there's my stuff. Since then that time, I don't even need to change the number anymore, right? Just have the two there, and it just keeps on pulling in that row over and over. So if I did it that way, I actually could just go ahead and said, instead of F1, I'll just say, bring in K2. I don't need it. I don't need to do the F1. I don't need to do, um, I still need to do the indirect because otherwise as you delete stuff, it says, oh, it went away <laughs> and, it, and it kills the formulas. So the indirect, but I don't need to do the and F1. I could actually do K2 inside those. If I, if I want to go this route of print, delete the row, print, delete the row, print, delete the row, print, delete the row. Um, so again, this was all just without any app script. It was just using the formulas um, for uh, a client. I did do one with app script and I haven't done the last step yet of, okay, after you print it, delete the row, um, but it's totally possible. And if you had that situation, you could actually, um, you know, add a little button right here that just says print and you could just click it and it would print the super bill and save it as a PDF. Or print it, or not print it, but it was save it as a PDF, delete the row, save it as a PDF, delete the row, save it. So you just go click, 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 click. But there you go. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, 
I'll go ahead and put a link um, to this in the comment there and and uh, I hope you appreciate the, the answer. I hope this helped make that a little bit more clear to everybody as well. Um, for those of you who want to dive into something that's a little bit more technical. All right, we'll talk to you later.